The owners of every single one of these lawns have done the same thing every fall, every year, and it's not overseeding. Can you imagine having one of these lawns as your own? Having family and friends over on this lawn. Having your neighbors spark conversations because they need to know how you went from this to this. Because you absolutely can by doing a fall nitrogen blitz. These are messages I received from subscribers who followed my advice last year of using the fall nitrogen blitz instead of overseeding. Some of you are probably wondering by now, what is a fall nitrogen blitz and why should I do this instead of overseeding? The Fall Nitrogen Blitz is a fall nitrogen plan that professionals have used for decades to keep golf courses, athletic fields, and home lawns looking great for the rest of the current growing season as well as the following year. During the summer months, our grass has gone through a ton of stress with all of the heat and drought it has endured, and once temperatures start to drop again, your grass will start to bounce back and want to recover. During this time is when we should definitely be hitting it with nitrogen to help it thicken up, recover, and store its food supply for next year. For cool season lawns when the air temps start to drop below 80 degrees, you know it's go time to start the nitrogen blitz. With this nitrogen plan, we will be spoon feeding our lawns 0.5 pounds of fast release nitrogen per thousand square feet every two weeks for the rest of the growing season. We're gonna do it every week if you have a really thin lawn. By doing this, we will be thickening up our lawn and giving roots a food supply to store as carbs for the winter, which means a faster spring green up and a healthier lawn coming out of winter next year. But there's definitely a catch. You better be prepared to start mowing. A lot. But trust me, it's gonna be worth it. So why the fall nitrogen blitz instead of overseeding? For one, it's much cheaper and a lot less work to do the fall nitrogen blitz rather than overseeding your entire lawn. Also, when overseeding, it takes multiple seasons for that grass to eventually mature into a strong, healthy strand of turf. With the fall nitrogen blitz, we'll be using your already mature grass and basically pumping it with steroids for a fraction of the cost of overseeding. If you overseed every single year, this definitely adds up to a lot of time and money which means by not overseeding, you're probably gonna make your wife a lot happier. So what type of fertilizer should we use? Because we wanna control how much nitrogen we're putting down over a certain period of time, we're going to wanna use a fast release fertilizer. The most cost efficient fertilizer I've found for this purpose has either been urea, which is a 4600, or ammonium sulfate, which is a 2100. We want fast release nitrogen going on the lawn because we want this fertilizer to go to work immediately. If you have slow release fertilizer laying around and don't wanna buy more fert, slow release might work for the first application or two, but once temps really start coming down, it's gonna be a lot harder for those fertilizers to break down and feed the lawn. By putting down fertilizers with at least some fast release nitrogen, we know exactly how much we're putting down and how long it's gonna last which means not wasting any at the end of the year. If you're not sure whether your fertilizer is slow release or fast release, here's a way to figure it out. Here's a popular Scott's brand of fertilizer. What you're gonna wanna do is look on the back of the bag and find the active ingredients. Right here in the bottom left, you can see that the bag contains 32% nitrogen. To find out how much of this nitrogen is slow release, we just need to look a little further down on the bag. At the very bottom, you can see that this bag says it contains 9% of slowly available nitrogen. That means of the 32% nitrogen that's in this bag, 9% of it is slow release, which means the other 22% is fast release, which is perfect for what we're going for. If you're looking to buy urea or ammonium sulfate, your best bet is going to be going to your local feed store and picking up a bag. You can do this by typing in feed store into Google Maps and a bunch of them should pop up. If the feed store doesn't have ammonium sulfate, you can also search out local landscape and seed supply stores. You're most likely not gonna find these products online for a very good price because they come in 50 pound bags, which makes the shipping on them ridiculous. You're better off finding a fast release nitrogen source from a big box store rather than spending the extra money on shipping. Kind of like that Scott's bag that we talked about earlier. 
Instead of telling you how much both of these fertilizers cost, let's call five different stores and get the prices for each. First, let's start with urea. Hi, do you guys sell urea fertilizer by chance? It looks like we do have some urea here. Okay, how much does that go for? That is $40.99 a bag. Yeah, I have 50 palm bag for 52 bucks. $36.99. Thirty-one sixty-five for fifty pounds. Uh, thirty-four fifty a bag. Let's go up. Hi, do you guys sell fertilizer? Uh, we only have a few bags left. Do you have ammonium sulfate by chance? Uh, no. I don't. Ammonium sulfate? Yeah, it's another type of fertilizer. Uh, I don't. I can get that. I, I have it in small bags, I believe. How much would that go for for a fifty-pound bag? I have no idea. Nineteen ninety-nine for a twenty-pound bag. It's called ammonium sulfate. Yep, we have that also. Oh, you do. How much does yeah. how much does that go for? Thirty ninety five. Perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Bye. -bye. Bye. So basically, you can see the prices are all over the place. Um, anywhere from thirty to fifty bucks for urea, and it looks about the same price for ammonium sulfate. But ammonium sulfate is way harder to get in my area. I only got two quotes: one for twenty bucks for twenty pounds. The other one for 31 bucks for 50 pounds and the other guy said he can order it for me. So I called probably like 12 different places. I'm not gonna sit here and go through the whole list, but you kind of get the idea around 30 to 50 bucks for a 50 pound bag. If you have the option to choose between both ammonium sulfate and urea, here are some things to consider. First off, there's more nitrogen in a bag of urea, so you'll be getting more bang for your buck when it comes to actual pounds on the ground of nitrogen. But just because there's more, doesn't always mean it's better. Because urea has so much concentrated nitrogen in each prill, it's much harder to spread evenly across your lawn compared to ammonium sulfate. On the first few applications, you're gonna notice dark blotches of grass in your lawn because the prill size is just so big. It's just impossible to hit every area of your lawn because of the small number of prills you're putting down. Ammonium sulfate will do a much better job with this because there's more prills to spread out across your lawn because it has a smaller amount of nitrogen in the bag. But if you have a low pH, ammonium sulfate might not be for you because it's been proven that it will lower your soil's pH over time. It won't be a drastic change, but it's definitely something to keep in mind if you're gonna be using it year after year. Because both urea and ammonium sulfate have such concentrated amounts of nitrogen in each prill, it makes things very difficult to spread across your lawn. In a perfect world, we'd be able to dissolve these fertilizers into liquid form and put it down in a backpack sprayer to get uniform coverage. But because we want to put down a lot of nitrogen at once, we just can't do that without burning our lawn or watering it in right away. So the best way that I've found to put these products down is to use a hand spreader with urea and a normal granular spreader with ammonium sulfate. You'll want to use close to the lowest setting on each of these spreaders and just go over your lawn multiple times in multiple different directions. This may seem like a lot more work than that's actually needed, but you'll definitely get the best coverage by doing it this way. One of the most frequent questions I get about the fall nitrogen blitz is how much fertilizer do I need to put down and how do I calculate it? I recommend putting down 0.5 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet every two weeks if you have a decent to good looking lawn. If your lawn's in really rough shape, I'd recommend throwing it down every week. Now that doesn't mean put down 0.5 pounds of product per thousand square feet. That's just how much nitrogen we want to put down. To calculate actual pounds on the ground, we're going to use a simple calculation. Say we want to put down 0.5 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet of ammonium sulfate. What we're gonna do is we're gonna divide 0.5 by the nitrogen content in that bag. Since ammonium sulfate is a 2100, that means it's 21% nitrogen. So we're gonna divide 0.5 divided by 0.21, and that's going to give us 2.38 pounds of product we need per thousand square feet. If we have a 6,000 square foot lawn, we need to multiply 2.38 times six. And that's gonna give us 14.28 pounds, which we need to spread over the lawn evenly. As soon as I notice my grass is done growing for the season, I stop the fall nitrogen blitz. There's no need to put down more on after this. The grass should have everything it needs to come back crazy strong in the spring and have a great green up. 
And what's even crazier is that even by putting down this much nitrogen, you can still get your grass much darker green. All you have to do is follow the steps I give you in this video right here. I'll see you guys over there.